Welcome back, Knowing Squad, where the unexpected becomes the norm. Get ready to walk with me through a story of inspiration and adventure. Follow me on this incredible journey as I walk amongst the colors and flavors absorbing the rich culture and finding inspiration at every turn. In the midst of this kaleidoscope of life, I discovered my passion. A greenhouse and glamping dream that will leave you speechless. Together, we will paint a vibrant canvas of greenery, bringing life and harmony to every corner. So my friends, lace up your sneakers and join me as we walk side by side, embarking on this unforgettable journey of creativity, growth and connection. Hello Knowing Squad, guess where I am today? I'm in Sayulita with my baby, look at that, we're out here for a little day trip so come along with us, this is so random, we, uh, we were walking down our street and our neighbor was just like, yeah I'm going to Sayulita today, you want to join? And we're like, for sure, so come on with us, we'll discover some new things today together, as always, we love you. And so we start our day at the Peninsula Plaza where our friend Paul took us there because he does yoga. Also, I discovered a studio where they do Pilates right there. What an amazing place. Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. The Peninsula Plaza really offers amazing things. They had some good coffee and now we are headed off to Sayurita, which is our first stop of the day. Well, I mean, it's our second stop after the Peninsula Plaza, but we will spend more time in Sayurita, where we take a very nice long walk in the jungle, and then to the beach. Follow us along the way, as these dreams keep on coming real. Every time I dream, the reality hits and it becomes absolutely real. Uh, and these markets on the side of the road selling exotic fruit are so worth it to check out. Sayulita has a rich history that dates back hundreds of years. It was originally inhabited by the indigenous Huichol people who considered the area sacred and used it as a fishing and farming village. Hi! Are you gardening? Are you guys gardening? Hello! All right, so we're just walking right through this forest over here to reach the beach. So I read on the Facebook group, yeah, that these little wispies right here, you should not touch them since it could give you a really bad skin rash. People were thinking that they're getting rashes from the baby jellyfish, but it's this tree. The beach is right there, guys. I could hear the waves. Our friend just said that there's no monkeys here because they ate them. <laughs> the beach is right there. Let's go. So we're not going to this beach. We're gonna take this road. Okay, that's that is Sayulita Beach. And tell us where we're going. We're going to Malpaso. Malpaso. So that's the bad step. 
So these guys are really hard workers. They cut these little leaves. That's why they're called leaf cutters. And they have really big holes. I actually saw a gigantic hole right here. Look at that hole they made. That's a big ant hole. They can strip a big plant. Oh yeah. Okay, so mal paso means that you goofed up, you effed up. <laughs> we could be wrong, guys, but you look it up and tell me. I'm pretty sure that this is a termite nest. Oh, I see them. Whoa. Whoa. Look at those termites going. The, I see the termites in there. I mean, we hear loud waves, but we don't see big waves. The area where Sayulita is located was once part of the pre-Hispanic kingdom of Jalisco, which was known for its skilled warriors and trade routes. During the Spanish colonization of Mexico in the 16th century, Sayulita was under the control of the vice royalty of New Spain. The Spanish introduced Catholicism to the region and built churches, some of which still stand today. In the 19th century, Jalisco played a crucial role in Mexico's struggle for independence from Spain. The state was a center of revolutionary activity and many prominent figures from Jalisco, such as Miguel Hidalgo, and Jose Maria Morelos fought for independence. Wow, if anyone's looking for the witch's thorn, here it is. Look at that. They're so prickly. What the fuck? I saw him swinging. He's squirrely. He's a little squirrely. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, so we're not gonna go to this beach. Wow, how old do you think this tree is? Baby, can you take a picture of me here? Can you take a picture? and get in where? Make sure there's nothing in there. Uh oh. Make sure there's no dodo bird coming over here. Do I just keep recording and you're just gonna... 
Okay, I'll take a few pictures. I'll just stop recording. Yeah. I don't see garbage either. Yeah, Not as much. I don't know why they don't have big bins. Night time. Don't miss. Don't miss a Ranger ball. <laughs> I would make. I would make it so all the national parks are are. That stone is hot. Is it really? That's hot. Sayulita remained a small fishing village for many years with a population that primarily relied on agriculture and fishing for their livelihood. We're on our way back! Woo. Here we see some fungi! That is so cool, but beyond that was my most special moment. This very amazing little plant was waving at me, which made me feel like it was a sign from a spirit that I am supported, loved, and on the right path. The way that it was waving didn't make sense that it would be the way. Look at that in the mountains right there. I'm a dream, I die by life. The ocean is right there. Oops. The ocean is right there. I feel proud. I feel proud. Just pass the plate for me. Okay, we're definitely going to eat here the next time we come. Mari's food. Sayulita gained popularity amongst surfers and tourists in the 1960s and 1970s, attracting the attention of adventurous travelers seeking a laid-back beach town experience. Over the years, Sayulita has evolved from a hidden gem to a popular tourist destination while still maintaining its charm, authenticity and close-knit community. The town has seen significant development and infrastructure improvements to accommodate the growing numbers of visitors, including the construction of hotels, restaurants and recreational facilities. Sayulita's unique blend of natural beauty and vibrant culture and surf culture has attracted people from around the world, creating a diverse and multicultural community. Today, Sayulita continues to thrive 
as a beloved tourist destination while preserving its cultural heritage and embracing sustainable practices to protect its natural surroundings. This is this is why I would not want to live in it because this is like this all year round. It's too much. What do you mean? Some place to I mean, it's huge. But, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's cute, but. I like the intimate vibe, you know, it's like a very small town vibe, but I feel like it's not small town prices. I don't feel like this is a small town vibe, this is most of the There is an amazing story here, the one that I was talking to you about. Oh, yeah! There's a store that has, it's, it, you know how you go into one of these kind of classy upscale gift shops? Mm -hmm. They're just stuff from all over the world that blows your mind. Yeah. One of those kind of places. Good food and cheap food right here. But um, I'll show you this, this uh, store. They have the nicest food. Uh, like, they're masterpieces. Oh, Ah, oh, Mercado Artisanal right there. See that place? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks like a little bit. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, those shoots actually look nice. I mean, it is, it's like, awesome. I kind of like the vibe. I like the vibe a lot. It's like very intimate walking around. I love the vibes. You can just walk everywhere, everywhere. And now we enter the town of San Pancho. San Pancho, officially known as San Francisco Jalisco. San Pancho is a small coastal town located on the Pacific coast of Mexico in the state of Jalisco. It is just a short distance north of Sayulita. Like Sayulita, San Pancho was originally a fishing village and was primarily inhabited by the indigenous Huichol people. The town was officially founded in the early 20th century by a group of Mexican farmers seeking to settle in the region. They named the town San Francisco, but it is commonly referred to as San Pancho. In the 1970s, San Pancho experienced an influx of foreign artists and musicians who were attracted to its natural beauty and tranquil atmosphere. This led to the establishment of art galleries, cultural centers, and music festivals contributing to the town's vibrant artistic community. The community-focused organization Entre Amigos was established in San Pancho in 2006. This nonprofit organization focuses on education, environmental awareness, and sustainable development projects for the local community. I got I saw something. Every day is what she told him. Turn your magic on. Everything you want is a dream of the Under this pressure, under this weight. We are dying. I'm a dream, 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 I'
Um, peanut butter. Oh, 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 uh, Nutella e caneta. Uh, caneta. That's it. What are you getting? Nutella and caramel. All, all with the save right there. Oh, that's a big save. Oh, yeah. You don't want it. Oh, yeah. I knew right away. I'm gonna eat a cone in two bites, lovely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Which one? Caramel? Caramel and Nutella. Oh my gosh. Your party. My the sweat is going into my eyes. David, do you know which one is my favorite? You make me feel little Enzo shirt. I buy it though, because this is like, this is nice. And it's hot. Cotton is the way to go. But, but notice stuff like, like where, where the, where the, where the, the two come together, they have the, the print. We really want to try out this place. Oh my gosh. Mm, what we got on the board here? Oh. Now this is got some chicken and got some. Wow. That big tree. Grab it. This is also where I go. La Perla Restaurante. Yeah. I'm we are we sweet San Pancho those shirts. Oh, oh, it's oh, so it's good. Good. San Pancho is known for its commitment to eco-friendly practices. The town has implemented initiatives to protect its surrounding ecosystems, including mangroves and turtle nesting grounds. The town's main street, Al Tercer Mundo, Third World Avenue, is lined with charming shops, cafes, and art galleries, offering visitors a glimpse into the local culture. The town's main beach, Playa San Pancho, is a beautiful stretch of golden sand framed by lush vegetation. It offers visitors a tranquil environment for swimming, surfing, and sunbathing. San Pancho is home to the La Patrona Polo and Esquetrian Club, an internationally recognized facility for polo, and Equestrian Club, an internationally recognized facility for polo. Equestrian competitors and horseback riding excursions. Despite its growing popularity as a tourist destination, San Pancho has managed to retain its small town charm and strong sense of community, hosting events that celebrate local traditions such as the San Pancho Days Festival. San Pancho's history and artistic community 
contribute to its unique character and appeal as a destination where visitors can immerse themselves in both natural beauty and cultural richness. San Pancho has ties to the Huichol indigenous people who maintain a strong presence in the region. The Huichol are known for their vibrant yarn paintings and intricate beadwork, which reflect their spiritual and cultural beliefs. In the mid 20th century, San Pancho was a hub for agriculture, particularly for growing tobacco and corn. The fertile lands surrounding the town contributed to its agricultural prominence. The town's main church, Inglesa San Francisco, was built in the early 1970s. This charming church serves as a focal point for religious ceremonies and cultural events in San Pancho. San Pancho used to be a stop among the coastal railway line that connected popular tourist destinations in Mexico. The railway has since been decommissioned, but remnants of the railway bridge can still be seen in the area. San Pancho's history, an ongoing commitment to sustainability, cultural preservation, and community development make it a truly compelling destination for those seeking a blend of history, artistic inspiration, and natural beauty. Wow, what an amazing day we had. It's literally 8 p.m. Sunset has hit and we are starving. We only ate one ice cream today. I feel like a champion. Maybe I should have called it a detox day, but no. We are gonna get some food. If I don't show it, I am ending the vlog here. Just to let you know, we had an amazing day walking around Sayulita and San Pancho, which gave me so many ideas because these towns are both hippie towns. They're so cute. There's a younger crowd there, much younger than Puerto Vallarta. So I may be able to sell my microgreens to those restaurants because they're the ones that would be consuming 
the microgreens that know because everyone here they have no idea what microgreens are but in San Pancho and Sayurita they definitely know so I will catch you either by the pool or for dinner if not I love you all thank you for every single second watching this video like comment share and subscribe and as always happy knowing <laughs>